Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Chainlink and watching its current move. So if you guys like the content, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also please check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. So let's go ahead and jump in. So you guys know I'm a big link bull. It's one of those ones that I, I say is absolutely, uh, it's too risky not to hold, right? It's too risky not to hold. The last time I made a video on Link, it was when it was around $10, I think. Uh, the video was on a, a, a projected path to a $100 Link during this market cycle. And, and in this video, we're just going to look to see, you know, what, what's happened since then. Is this projection still at all reasonable? And just kind of what's, what's going on with Link, right? So this is the, this is the purpose of the video. Now, this move, we completely called, right? I mean, we said that any time that Bitcoin is above its 20-week moving average, Link tends to pump, right? And this is exactly what we saw. And it looks very similar to these last two moves where Bitcoin was above the 20-week for an extended period of time. You can see the first move in 2017, where it went from around... Um, less than you know less than 20 cents to over a dollar here it also went up significantly um, and then most recently we had I mean it, it went up here as well pretty significantly but then Bitcoin went below the 20 week and therefore link dropped significantly here Bitcoin got above the 20 week again and we went parabolic and we said you know we said the first target is is the lower portion of this logarithmic regression overvaluation region we came up to it you guys remember we caught it it came back down and then we said Bitcoin has never been, or Chainlink has not experienced a full bull market, right? So, you know, over here, it was it was basically experiencing the tail end of the, the, the amazing bull market of 2016 and 2017. But we've never seen it, you know, since then, right? And arguably, we could be in the beginning phases of a bull market again. And just like back in 2017, we came up into this region, which we said was a, a very distinct possibility, right? Because Bitcoin's very bullish, crypto's generally bullish, and Link is is basically doing what the same thing it's always done, right? It, it's not it's not even it's not even news anymore, right? To to see Link go up, it, it's just kind of business as usual, right? You you kind of expect it to 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 move up, but with that said, there still are ways that you can you know you can accumulate more Link in my opinion, right? I mean, this is this is something that I've done for a long time and it has worked out really well. So we're gonna get to that a little bit later in the video um, to show you exactly what I do to, to accumulate more link. And I do it in a way that I don't I don't have to keep putting USD into the market. So we'll, we'll show that in a little bit. So the next thing I wanna show is just, we're, we're looking at the price of link. I removed the regression band, gave you a little bit more resolution here. So you can see those significant pumps of link when Bitcoin is above its 20 week. When it's below the 20 week, Link doesn't really tend to do a whole lot, right? It, it mainly just moves sideways from from bro from breaking, from when Bitcoin breaks down to when it goes up or when it, or, or vice versa, right? If you, if you compare these different points, it's mostly moving sideways and it's when Bitcoin's above its 20 week, which is when Link tends to pump. Now, the interesting thing, right, is that Bitcoin has never been above its 20 week moving average for more than a few months since Link has been around. We know that it was above its 20 week moving average for a couple years back in the last market cycle, but since Link has been around, it has not. Um, so, you know, that's just one thing to keep in mind. We don't, we're not super confident, right, on where exactly Link can go because it hasn't even experienced a full market cycle. Now, if we show the same thing, but this time we're showing the Link Bitcoin valuation. So Bitcoin above it, it's red, Bitcoin below it, it's yellow. It generally just moves up, right? We see that when it's above the 20 week, it tends to have a pretty immediate pump, but even when it's below it, you know, it tends to, to, to do fairly well still. Okay, so Link has more or less been gaining, gaining valuation against Bitcoin since it's been around, right? Since it's been around. And as we've said many, many times through many videos, this is a trend that I wanna be a part of, right? So because it's a trend I wanna be a part of, this is why I say it's it's too risky not to hold Link in your portfolio, at least some of it for the duration of the bull run, just because we don't know what it's capable of doing. Now, this is the general uptrend that it's been in. The the key idea in, in terms of you know projecting out a potential $100 Link is, is assuming that Bitcoin makes it to its prior all-time high to a sustainable 20K, 
within about 16 months or so, 14 to 16 months. And if it does that and link stays on this trajectory, right, it's going to yield a, you know, a potential $100 link, right? I mean, it's going to, this is what it would, this is what it would likely yield if it can maintain this momentum. So, you know, these moves, these parabolic moves against Bitcoin, it's just business as usual, right? We've seen them, they're a dime a dozen. Um, so nothing has really changed in, in terms of, you know, where Link is. If you, if you just compare the price of Link now to just a few months ago, um, most people would be, have been ecstatic, right? To, to, to think about a Link that's even over $10, right? Um, I mean, we even hit $20 in the, you know, not too long ago. So this is what I want to talk about in terms of, you know, what I use to, to try to help identify these bubbles when they form, you know, dynamically DCA some profits on the way up during these bubbles, and then to start DCAing back into the market. So the general idea here is that this is the price of link on a logarithmic scale. Uh, so each major tick is 10x. So this is 10 cents, a dollar, $10, $20, $30. These are minor ticks versus time with a color-coded risk dimension, okay? So the risk goes from zero to one. When it's blue-ish, it means it's historically a great time to buy. When it's orange-ish to red-ish, it's historically a great time to sell. Again, I'm a, I'm a link bull by, by all means of the imagination, uh, but I also recognize that I, I, I'm so bullish on link that I want to accumulate more of it. And the, the way that I think it's best for me to do that is to is to take profits anytime it goes to these parabolic moves because if you do it essentially it usually leaves you with an opportunity to dca back in at lower prices right and and if you follow the premium list by the way this is where all this is available to you live the risk numbers anyway the risk the actual risk number um, at into the cryptoverse.com we'll talk about a little bit about that later but you can see yet again we saw a similar move just like this one, just like this one over here, and then we saw a similar move again. And for those who were following the premium list, we were we were dynamically DCAing ourselves all the way up, either going into USD, Bitcoin, or Ethereum, depending on what your you know what your what you wanted to do. But certainly, what I was doing was going into Bitcoin, and and the reason for that I'll, I'll show in a minute. The general idea behind behind this right is is buying link when the risk level is say below 0.5 and then dynamically selling it when it's above 0.5. And this is the link USD risk metric, okay? So aggressively buying it in this region, right? And more aggressively buying it every risk band that it falls down, and then starting to dynamically DCA some profits as it goes up. Note the risk is this orange line, which corresponds to the secondary y-axis, okay? So this is the general idea. You don't have to sell it at 0.5, you know, exactly at 0.5. In fact, with Link, it's one of those ones that I try to start selling at the middle of the wristbands, mainly because I, you know, I'm, I'm super bullish on Link and I, I really think that it's it's worth holding on a bit longer rather than trying to sell it right at a, you know, right at the 0.5 wristband for the first band. So I did it at 0.55, 0.65, 0.75, um, and so on and so forth. So... The general idea, right, is to dynamically DCA your cells on the way up, right? As we said, so Y, 2Y, 3Y, 4Y, and 5Y. You basically figure out what your Y is. We have a lot of videos that show how to do this. And and so if you sell, say, $100 worth of link here, then, or sorry, not $100 worth, let's say you sell 100 link, then here you would sell 200, 300, 400, and 500. So again, not financial advice. This is just what I do. If you're a little bit more bullish, maybe you buy up to a higher risk level and then you start selling higher. Now, the main thing that I wanna show though, the last thing is the link Bitcoin risk, right? So the re this is used to help identify, you know, what you what I sell link to. Is it USD, is it Bitcoin, is it Ether? And the link Bitcoin risk level showed that we were at a historically very high risk against Bitcoin. In fact, it was the highest it had ever been, um, or at least tied with it. And so this is why I said on the premium list at intothecryptoverse.com, I'm DCing out to Bitcoin. And it seems like that was a really good choice in at least in the short term, because you can see every time we get into this region, we, we end up coming back down. So yet again, this has happened. So the general idea with against Bitcoin, right, link Bitcoin is potentially buying up to the 0.6 risk level, um, maybe even a little bit higher, and then dynamically DCing sells back to Bitcoin 
uh, within these wristbands. And you can see, generally speaking, between say 0.5 or 0.55 up to 0.65, I drew it from 0.5, but between, this, between these levels, it seems like a good turnaround point for link, right? Where the yellow line comes back down several times. And then up here, it's, it tends to be a good time to, to sell if you haven't, and if you wanna be a little bit more conservative, at least to, to move to Bitcoin, to move some of your link to Bitcoin when it gets to this these risk levels, because it, it generally doesn't stay that way for very long. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you check out the website into thecryptoverse.com. If you want access to the premium content and the live risk levels, you can, in addition to the risk dashboard, you get access to a weekly video, a weekly report, um, uh, a strategy dashboard, a, um, a private Telegram alerts channel, and a private Telegram chat room. So the prices are going up September 28th. If you want to get grandfathered in, make sure you sign up before that. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, check out the Telegram channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.